从前有座山，山里头有座庙，庙里有个老和尚讲故事。他讲的是什么呢？功夫是个啥？传说有绝学。深山藏秘籍，秘得于神兵，逍遥闯江湖，仗义行天下Weapon is an extension of the human body. All kung fu practitioners want to find the ideal weapon. After being forged in the fire, a weapon is further shaped by the physiology and psychology of its owner until it becomes an integral part of his life. Is like a furnace. As we forge weapons, we are also shaped by them. There are many legends surrounding weapons and their owners. On Mount Song is a sacred site for Zen Buddhism and martial arts. Shaolin Temple. Many Kung Fu masters have honed their skills here. Shaolin Gun, strength is very strong. Su Hua Jiang says, "Strong is a stone, strong is a gun. It's called Gang Meng." People have become more and more aware of the fight against terrorism in the world. Liang Jihong, a master of Shaolin stick skills, was invited to teach the Chinese Special Police Shaolin stick skills in June of 2015. <laughs> 当时公安的领导就说了一句：“你能为人民做点事儿？”我感觉这个荣誉太大了。我当时我确实是欣然接受。A weapon is an extension of the human body. In China, sticks are regarded as the ancestor of all weapons. They are easy to find and rarely lethal. Since they have no sharp edges. For this reason, sticks have become the most commonly used weapons in Shaolin Kung Fu. Chinese people understand that sticks can be used to punish an opponent without killing him. In Liang Jihong's opinion, he and sticks both hate evil and never yield. For centuries, Shaolin monks have been subduing enemies, upholding justice, and protecting the nation with sticks. Today, this will be Liang Jihong's responsibility. Violent terrorist incidents today usually happen in public areas, complicating terrorism prevention. 
Shaolin stick skills, which punish but do not kill, could take center stage in this effort. As soon as he arrives in Hu Lu Dao, Liang Ji Hong begins training the special police. It only takes a few months to master stick skills, but years to master blade skills, and a lifetime to master spear skills. The spear is truly the king of weapons. Chen Jen Fung is a master of Shaolin 13 movement spear skills. Today, he's preparing to stage a drama featuring Chinese weapons, with the spear playing the leading role. Having the spear appear on the stage in the right position requires intense training of the actor. The Shaolin 13 movement spear skills are named after their 13 moves. It requires a fair amount of strength. After several hours of training, the actor is exhausted. Well,我虽然说有跟我父亲开始习武的，我晚上也看过，他都在月光下练他的枪，很迅速，很猛，在我心目中，我很崇拜我父亲。
安尼，咱那细个。伊只老大只，心脏不老好。嗯。伊也瘦啊。瘦啊。吃肉也不中。吃肉也不中，那是抽血抽血了。哎。Chen Jianfeng's father, Chen Wu Jing, used to be the spear king of Dongfeng City. An accident eight years ago hit him hard, and he's not been the same since. This is the Jianfeng. The Ba Man Ming Chi, the most important one, the Shishan Chan. The Shishan Chan is the Jianfeng. I will. 但是现在这学生跟以以往不一样。你像我从小，你教我时候，你打我，哎，打我再狠，我都得练。昨天有个学生练累了，说他两句儿，哎，他不练，他起来躲，给我一人扔下来，给我气的呀，不能行。那练也不行，那你自己来，那你拍，继续拍，继续练。我自己练，那但是你的，你给你绝活儿得给我拿过来。那枪哎，拿了。那枪。那枪哎。你去找找。那我去找找。啊。嗯。那你这枪。不知道啊，这多少不练呢，我也不知道都能练出来。哎。你去去。在哪样？你上哪样看看？在哪样找找？So that he wouldn't feel sad when he saw his old spears, his family hid them. Eventually, they forgot where they put them. As his son looks for his spear, Chen Wu Jing pulls himself up on the rope hanging from the roof. He wants to meet his old friend like a true Kung Fu master after eight years since their last meeting. After searching every corner of his home, Chen Jianfeng finally finds the spears that his father once used to dominate the Kung Fu world. Unfortunately, the heads of the spears are covered with rust. Hey, <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
我的天哪 The former King of Spears officially bids goodbye to his precious weapon. Then he teaches his son the most important move, how to display the spear. After that, he'll wait to see the Shaolin 13 movement spear skills performed on the stage. But in June 2015, Chen Wujing sadly passed away before the drama was staged. Chen Jianfeng promised to do all he can to fulfill his father's wishes. Every day, Zheng Shuji begins his routine at 2 a.m. Traditional Kung Fu masters believe that practicing early in the morning is best for improving their skills. Zheng Shuji is 64 years old. His day-to-day -day schedule is different from most people. He never misses his daily Zen meditation in the mountains. Unlike most days, today he comes deep into the mountains after morning practice to carry out his big plan.
To other people, Jung Shu Ji is just an odd old resident of the town. But he doesn't care what other people think. He comes and goes and does whatever he feels. He lives in his own world. His real identity is that of a carpenter. Few people know that this Kung Fu master has had five passports and visited 46 different countries. These days he stays at home and focuses on making a Dharma rod, a sort of ceremonial adze or mattock out of wood he found in the mountains. Chang Wheat turns yellow in June in Hanan province on the central plains. Sui Zhong Wu is busy harvesting wheat in the field with his son. A real Kung Fu master knows that both a rod and a sickle can be used as a weapon. Sui Zhong Wu's father, Sui Shi Qi, is also a Kung Fu master. His weapon of choice is a pair of elaborate double-bladed sickles. Now 93, he's been practicing Kung Fu for more than 70 years. In Deng Fun, almost all the legends about the sickle involve Sui Shi Qi. As a special weapon of Shaolin Kung Fu, the sickle is famous for its sharpness and strength. The sickle is both a farm tool and a weapon. In spite of being a Kung Fu master for 70 years, Sui Shi Qi is always cautious. He believes there is danger in all weapons. The sharper the weapon, the more careful its owner should be. Being able to hold and release as needed is the most important virtue of Kung Fu practitioners.
Kung Fu practitioners describe the meteor hammer of Shaolin Temple as being swift as lightning and powerful as thunder. It always catches the enemy off guard. Chen Tong Chuan is the head coach at a Kung Fu school. Hundreds of thousands of people now practice Kung Fu in Deng Fung. They have great respect for Shaolin Kung Fu. Several days ago, Chen's tutor, Hao Shijai, a great Kung Fu master, suddenly passed away taking some of the ultimate Kung Fu skills to the grave. Chen must face this harsh reality. Chen decides to begin visiting surviving masters of Shaolin Kung Fu, hoping to preserve their Kung Fu skills with his camera. Many older Kung Fu masters with ultimate skills want to withdraw from the world of martial arts, greatly saddening Chen. Yazu 老祖宗穿越来的这种宝贝东西都把它丢掉了，我们没有给它继承好，没有把它发扬好，那是我们的罪过。我想这样，我有这个意志，有这个信念，我们都会一点一点把它克服。He decides to follow his heart and put his ideas into action. No matter how the times change, Kung Fu practitioners should persevere. They can't stop practicing, even if everyone else gives up. I'm not 我还能联动，并且还相连，用你的自己的行动，用你自己的表率来感染你周围的人。这个。
是无数的东西最讲理，是真的假不了，是假的也真不了。行家伸伸手，便知有没有啊。就拿韩天锦来说，王甘泉。hasn't had any customers during the past 20 days. But he still doesn't want to see his furnace fire go out for good. Wang makes up his mind to create a traditional broadsword in the style of Shaolin Temple. Everything is ready, but Wang is somewhat confused. He's forgotten how to forge a broadsword. Wang sketches a broadsword from memory on paper. He's determined to make one that will reflect well on his craft. Forging a broadsword requires the concerted effort of two people. Wang's assistant has come to help him. Thirty years ago, Wang was still good at forging broadswords, and many Kung Fu practitioners had him forge broadswords for them. Wang is proud of this. After being beaten and heated many times, Wang's broadsword finally takes shape. Though 
Though the age of cold weapons is over, Wong still hopes his broadsword can ignite the passion of Kung Fu practitioners. No weapon is better than the human body. In Liu Genjian's opinion, his arm is an ideal weapon. Lu works as a cook at a school in Dengfeng. Every day he cooks for more than 3,700 people, but no one knows that he's a master of iron arm skills. He practices his kung fu skills as he cuts vegetables, beats eggs, cooks vegetables, and kneads dough. After repeatedly tempering in the fire, the weapon returns to its original point, which is the human body. Portable and unnoticed, the human body is the most powerful weapon of all. Wang Zongren enjoys a very good reputation in Deng Fung. He's open and forthright, but he's been troubled by a problem for years. But what worries him more is a Japanese man named Satoshi Kawaguchi. Ten days from now, Satoshi Kawaguchi will come to Dong Fung for the 40th time. He's been learning Kung Fu from Wong for 20 years. But Wong hasn't decided whether or not to teach him the skills of the spring autumn long hilt broadsword skills. Shifu, 
还要多长时间能到东风？有半个多小时。Ten days later, Satoshi Kawaguchi arrives. This time, he brings a gift for Wang. Thank you. 我也知道有很多人说师傅你为什么教日本的徒弟我也能感觉到可是师傅自己他从来没说过在二十年了，每年来两次，一般的人是做不到的，或是打通。在这二十年，他的武术呢，非常的很。Wang believes that no other disciple could reach the level of Kawaguchi's kung fu. Wang has mixed feelings as he sees Kawaguchi's gradual progress. After a lot of thought, he finally reaches a decision. Chang 官老爷的大道
我们的并不是那一个人说了算The spring autumn, long hilt broadsword skills have been passed down as a symbol of loyalty and faith. They represent the Chinese people's tolerance and generosity. Wang finally feels relieved. Okay. <laughs> 通过传过线学习这个要传到日本去要让他知道学的关东大道的深远意义最早来这里目的是练武现在到东风感觉我回到老家一样我师父给我起的中国名字叫王凤梨我师父王宗仁是我的中国的父亲Military force should only be used to maintain peace. Wang Zongren believes that there are no boundaries in the world of Kung Fu. Love is the most fundamental thing. Two months later, the first group of special policemen, trained by Liang Ji Hong, show up for work with their sticks. After recording the practice of older Kung Fu masters, Chen Tong Chuan returns to his school to use the video in teaching traditional Kung Fu skills. He believes legends will only survive if they are passed down to the next generation. Chen Chen Fung puts on his drama as scheduled. The Shaolin 13 movement spear skills are once again seen by the public. These powerful weapons are the continuation of generations of Kung Fu practitioners. <laughs> 